Welcome back to Rose's Beauty Fashion. I'm here today to do the prepping of the nails, okay, which I had talked about doing before. Um, I'm going to actually be using, I know a lot of us get the uh, Dollar Tree nails, the Sassy and Chick nails, okay, but what I'm going to be using today is the Flamingos. I'm going to be putting on those because I know summer is moving right along pretty fast, so I want to use my little flamingo nails before it's fall and I can't use them. But, okay, so what I'm going to say real quick is what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over everything that I'll be using to prep the nails, okay, and then I'm going to give the demonstration how I do it. But uh, I do want to say is I'm not making any of this up or anything like that because I am a licensed nail technician, um, but I don't do um, anybody's nails anymore. I, be, I do my own. I usually do acrylic nails is what I do. Um, but I don't have them on anymore, as you see. Um, I took them off right before the 4th of July collab and because I wanted to um, put on the press-on nails. And um, what made me thought about doing this video is because those nails lasted me over a month, okay? And, uh, you know, I hear a lot of ladies say that their nails always pop off after about a week or so. And mine were on, and I had a hard time getting them off even after a month. So I thought, you know, let me do this demonstration so you ladies can see and, you know, it'll help your nails stay on longer. Okay, and now I'm going to show you basically what I'm going to use, okay. And, um, but I did take off my fingernail polish, okay. And what I did was I cut my nails down as far as I could, okay. And I even do that when I do my acrylics because, you know, when they, I don't like to see the growth of the growing underneath them. I just don't think that looks right, you know, and you can get stuff caught in there and stuff so I always cut them down as low as I can okay so I took my fingernail polish off with these Dollar Tree cotton rounds okay and I use my little I use my little container <laughs> that's what I keep them in <laughs> so and what I use to take them off is I use pure acetone okay um, yeah okay pure acetone they say on acrylic nails you're supposed to use non-acetone, but you don't have to, okay? I've, always, I've used pure acetone for years, and it works just as good, and it works better, I should say. And um, people always say, don't use it on acrylic nails, don't use it, but I do. And to me, when you have glitter on your nails, this really takes it off better, okay? And sometimes, like, I might soak it for a few minutes and then take them off. But that's on acrylic or regular. But I just wanted to throw that in there so you guys know. And I do get this at Beauty Supply Store, um, Sally's Beauty Supply Store. So, you know, you can get that. So, yeah. And then I have my, um, my cuticle pusher, okay, which I do sanitize this, okay. So I'll be using that. And then this is alcohol, but the scent is evergreen. Um, you don't have to use this kind. You can use, uh, you know, regular alcohol. But I always use the evergreen because when I did use use it to do, you know, my clients' nails, I just it was it always was a good smell. You know, it was a very clean smell instead of just you know smelling pure alcohol. The evergreen smell was always so nice. So I use that. So and I actually, you know, when you have like a business or something, you always, you know, first um, for the state, you know. If the state ever came in, you know, you have to have everything marked, everything labeled, you know. So this is my evergreen. I put it in this little spray bottle, and so I'll be using that. I put it in there. And this is my little, um, my little duster to dust off, you know, the fingers. I use that. Okay. I use that for regular and acrylic. Okay. And I am going to be using the glue from the Dollar Tree, which is the Sassy and Chick glue, which I love this glue. Okay. <laughs> I really do. Okay, and then what I'm going to be using is my mini pro um, filing, electric file, okay, and um, it does go, you know, on and on and off, and it goes frontwards and backwards, and you can adjust the speed right here, and I pretty much, if you're doing it on your real nails, the better nails, you want to use it on the lowest speed, okay, but if you don't have this, it's no problem, you know, you don't, you don't need that, I mean, you don't have to have it, like I said, I just did it for when I had my business. Um, I have quite a few files here and you always want to get, and this is a buffer, you always want to get the thinnest grit, okay? What I mean by grit is like the finest, okay, file when you're using on your nails, okay? Um, on the acrylic nails, you can get the, um, the thicker grit, you know, but you don't want to damage your nails, you know, by really, you know, filing, filing, filing. I mean, you do have to rough them up, 
but you know when I'm demonstrating you will see okay and then I do buff them okay and I and there's different grits of buffers too so like I said when you go to Sally's you can see you can see the difference and you can also you know ask you know the lady to help you if there's different but always use the thinnest the thinnest grit okay on your natural nail okay and these are the little um, uh, bits that I bits that I use okay with the acrylic nails I don't use them on my regular nails because I'll show a uh, close-up picture here but you can see they're like a different grit okay but today I do have um, the thin grit on here okay because I'm going to demonstrate it but um okay so and I have I already got my nails like lined up you know, I have them all ready, you know, I always size them, you know, line them up and stuff and get them all ready. So, all right, so um, if you want to see this demonstration, just keep watching. Okay, so let's get started. And I also want to say, too, I never wear any of my jewelry when I'm doing my nails because I don't like all the dust and everything to get in my jewelry. So, okay, the first thing that I am going to do is use my cuticle pusher. And I always just, um, you want to push back those cuticles because when you place the nails on you do want to get them as close to the cuticles as you can but you do not want to get them on your cuticles okay so yeah I just want to push them back I'm only going to demonstrate on on you know one hand because I don't want the video to be super long you know just to give you an idea okay okay so that's that Okay, then the next thing you have to do is you have to rough up your nail. And the reason why is because when you see like a shiny, shiny on your nails, that's actually oil, oil on your, you know, oil on your nails. And if it's shiny, that's what makes your nails fall off, seriously, because they, they can just slide off, you know, your nail. Or if you put your nails on and they're like over your nail bed, they could also, uh, you know, pop off. But, okay, I'm going to do, use the file first only because I know a lot of you probably don't have the electric file. But basically what you do is you just rough them up. You want to just rough them up, okay? You want to get any of that shine off your nail is what you basically want to do, okay? You always, it always say, you always say rough them up basically. And this is, like I said, it's a fine grit, so it's not, you know, it's not damaging your nails. If you use a rough grit, then, you know, yes, you can damage your nails. Because, you know, your nails can get very thin after a while. Especially if my nails are, I will admit, they are kind of thin because, you know, I've wore acrylic for so long. So, okay. So, how, see how it's white like that? Okay. And then you take the buffer, you know, and you just do like that. Then you go. Okay, now I'm going to go on to the next nail, but I'm going to use my electric one now. And I have it on a very low speed, okay? And what I do is just rough them up. Makes it a lot easier if you do this, <laughs> if you use the file actually. But like I said, you just basically want to get that shine off. Okay. And then you want to use the buffer again. Okay, so that's how, that's two nails right there. That's one with the file, that's one with the electric electric file. So now what I'm going to do, I'm not going to do the other three right now because, you know, it's going to take so long and I'm, like I said, I'm not going to go through that. So the next step that you would want to do is, I mean, if you're doing like acrylic nails, you usually have a lot of dust, so you'd want to dust off any, you know, dust that you do have on there. But I don't have a lot of dust on there right now. So, okay, the next thing you want to do is you want to use your alcohol. And like I said, I do label it, you know, I still do it, believe it or not. <laughs> So what you do is you just you spray it right on the nail, okay, and you wipe it off. And you do this because you want the nail to be clean, very clean, okay. It's very important, and it smells so good, <laughs> okay. Yeah. 
So basically, those two nails are prepped. They are ready for the glue and the nail. Okay, so now I'm going to do it for you. Like I said, I'm only going to do two nails or whatever because I'm going to put, I'll just do the rest um, on my, you know, put them on myself because the video will be forever. And like I said, I, if you can see them here, I have them lined up. I always size them, you know, before I get ready to do them. Now, if I was to put on, if I was just going to put on tips, I would just put the glue like right here and then I would, you know, I would put them on like this, okay? But since these are not tips, they're the whole now, what I do is I just put the, the glue right on here. Oops, you got to watch. That came out kind of fast. You don't want to get it on your nail bed, okay? One thing about these nails, they're awful short. Okay, now when you put them on, make sure that you always get the round part, you know, towards the cuticle. And, you know, because they're square, they're square nails, okay? I'm sorry, I did it wrong. This is the round part, okay? And this is the square part, so... Yeah, so you just want to place them on in front of the nail bed, okay? And of course, you got to hold for a couple seconds. And that nail glue, it does, you know, a really good job. So, yeah, so there's one right there. We will do another one. Just put a dot and just kind of rub it around. You don't want to get it all over your nails, you know? And you just want to place it. I always start back here, but, but you don't, like I said, want to get on your nail bed. And you go downwards. Okay, and then you hold it. And that's it. That's all you do. That's how you prep your nails for these type of nails. And um, it's basically the same way with acrylic, but it is a little bit different, okay? So now I'm going to go off camera, and I'm going to do the rest, and I will come back to show you how they all look when I'm done. I will be right back. back with the final look, and here they are. <laughs> okay, I think they are darling. They are so cute, the little flamingos. Um, the only thing is, is they're a little bit short for me. I'm used to longer nails, but it'll work. <laughs> so, yeah, so that's the final look, and I hope you enjoyed this demonstration and I hope that it'll help you to make your nails last longer so all right so um thank you for watching and I will see you in my next video bye bye <laughs>